The next one on stage, Mena Commerce. No, it's uh, Mena Commerce. Hi. Hi. So I do have a clicker. All right. Oh. This one. All right. Hi. So where is my present? That's not me, huh? <laughs> yep, that's me. All right. So, shall we start? All right, so my name is Mustafa. I'm the founder of Mina Commerce, and this is my team. Um, the three of us for the past 10 years have worked in the fields of business analytics and market intelligence with companies like Oracle, SAP, EMC, SAS, and KPMG, and we were always focusing on the retail industry. And through our many years working in this industry, we discovered that retailers online and offline have a massive challenge and a significant problem, which is how to derive actionable intelligence out of the data that they're gathering. So we decided to launch our own company, Mina Commerce, to solve this problem. And what we do for retailers is that we provide a SaaS-based online intelligence platform that covers their entire uh, intelligence and analytics needs, from competitive to operational to predictive intelligence. Let me break that down. For competitive intelligence, we have our own spiders, just like Google. And we crawl the entire internet, gathering information from our customers' competition. We gather uh, information from his competitors about pricing, assortment, inventory, promotions, and much more. And we deliver this in the form of real-time analytics to our customer. We tell him where is he cheaper, where is he more expensive, where is his, comp his competition out of stock, uh, what new products are they adding, and so on. For operational intelligence, we're able to analyze his own data and give him insights into his own metrics and to his own sales, operations, and customers. And we're able to tell him how to better optimize his business. But our unique selling proposition is our ability to feed all this data into the predictive engines and data models that we've built, allowing us to give our customers advice on how to make more money. We're able to tell them which prices should they change, which promotions should they run, which customers should they target, and then we're able to tell them the bottom line impact in dollar value if they run those what-if scenarios and simulations. And this data science is the future of retail intelligence. Actually, it's, it's the future of everything, and it's not just retail. So, Online retail is an $830 billion market, growing at 17% year over year. In the Middle East and Turkey, it's actually growing twice as fast. And we wanted to be able to scale into this market. So we secured some strategic partnerships with uh, service providers who have a large retail customer base, allowing us to tap into that customer base. And just before we came to Istanbul, we actually signed two of the largest retailers in the UAE who have a combined revenue of $3 billion. We have a significant competitive advantage. We are the first to market in MENA and Turkey. Uh, we have globally, we differentiate ourselves by having an all-in-one intelligence solution, which is twice as better at half the price. And our price points are very simple. They're flat rate subscription fees per month, depending on the size of the retailer that we're working with. Uh, we're raising 500K. We have 50% secured. The first investor that we onboarded was actually the first customer that uh, we approached. Uh, but our vision is not just to build a platform. Our vision is to democratize intelligence to the retail world. Thank you. Stay there. Uh, Questions? No. Yeah, Mustafa, uh, nice presentation. Thank you. Um, I, I'm, not, uh, I'm, I'm trying to understand what is the difference between what you do and, say, the thousand other startups that do what you do that I've seen, that have pitched me. And I'm sure you know there's many, many, many in this space. So most of the analytic startups in the world, they focus on aggregating data and visualizing data. They give you reports, dashboards, fancy interfaces, and so on. We focus more on optimization. So after we gather this data, we're able to give our customers advice on action points that they need to do. So we're able to create simulations and what-if scenario. So the predictive analytics is really our unique selling proposition. It's not just giving data, but telling the customer what they need to do and what's the impact if they do this. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. I, again, I'm still not convinced because there's so many companies doing this. It's a very crowded space. Yep. Um, where are you focused? Like, are you are you purely going to focus in in CEE or or are you spe specific, uh, specifically picking a location first? 
How are you doing it? So our first target market is MENA in Turkey because this is a green field for us. We're the first to market with uh, this intelligent solution okay, here. Okay, great. Thanks. Thanks. Any other questions? One question. Are you crawling the data of the competitors? Or yes. So, okay. So we have our own spiders. They go to all the online retailers, and we fetch information multiple times per day. And we actually created a very sophisticated technology that can be cloaked so that the retailers don't know that our spiders are actually there. So we have a lot of AI involved. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome. Any other questions? So um, my uh, comment would be that complexity sometimes kills startups. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not sure you should be doing all three things when, you know, at least in two of them, you're in a very crowded competitive market. So if, if your um, crown jewel is the predictive analytics part, why not focus on that? And in, th in this part, my question would be, uh, how does your recommendation look like? Are you closing up the loop and connecting this to marketing automation, or what exactly is the... All right, so these are two questions. Just to answer the first one, we are focusing, what we do is, you know, the Pareto principle. It's the 80-20 rule. So we focus our uh, solution on the 20% that retailers actually care about because 80% of your value comes from 20% of your metrics. So we focus on Many that. other guys saying that. Yeah, but. but the predictive analytics, we need the competitive data. So we need the data points of what other competitors are selling the same product at which price. Otherwise, our predictive engines will not be able to work. And we need to understand the retailer himself. What is he selling and how much demand does he have? How many searches is he getting on those products? Because all these are data feeds into the predictive models that we've built. Only then can we give him accurate predictions. The more data we have, the more accurate the predictive models that we run. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.